Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bria and today I'm going to be working on this mid-mod dresser. I had so much fun adding wood dowels to my last project, so I'll be doing that again, but to the extreme. I got this off of Marketplace for $125. It's in okay condition, but it needs some love. There's some opaque stain over the original finish, so I'll have to remove that. I'll be using the soy gel stripper to remove the stain. At this point, I had no idea what condition the wood was in underneath the solid stain, so I was eager to get it off. I really love this stripper. It's so easy to work with and you can see it working almost immediately. I also love how it only requires soap and water for cleanup and it doesn't stain the wood like Citrus Strip does. After about 15 minutes, I took a metal scraper and removed what I could. You have to be extra careful when you're using a metal scraper because it can scratch the wood really easily compared to a plastic scraper. Like I said earlier, you just have to clean it up with soap and water. After seeing the condition on the top of the dresser, I knew I could proceed with my plan of doing the dip trend, so I continued stripping the dresser sides and the top drawers. After letting the stripped areas dry in the sun for a couple hours, I went in with a 240 grit sandpaper to try and remove the rest of the stain. My sandpaper was starting to get clogged up though, and so I went in with my scraper to get the rest of the stuff off, and then I went back in with a 180 grit and that worked much better. This wood grain has got to be the most beautiful wood grain I've ever seen. I cannot believe it was trapped under that opaque solid stain. So my design plan for this dresser is kind of complex. So I'm doing the dipped look on the top so that'll all be stained wood. But then on the bottom third of the dresser, I'm gonna be adding these wood dowels that I used in my last video. I'm gonna be adding them horizontally over the whole thing. And so it's gonna cover the sides, the front, the drawers, like everywhere. I'm using two of the wood pieces as my spacers and then I'm sanding the trim down, applying a ton of wood glue and then putting it on and that's about it. It's very repetitive and it's honestly pretty easy once you get the hang of it. One important tip I have is to let the piece dry for like 20 seconds before trying to remove the spacers. That way it's a little bit harder for the trim to move because you don't want it to move. You want it to stay exactly where it's at. But when you have it so tight against the spacer, it makes it really hard to remove the spacers unless the glue is kind of dry. I want it to be as close as possible to looking like the wood is completely straight and across the whole dresser and so I'm adding these little pieces in between each drawer to get that desired look. So I've been sitting here for quite a long time trying to figure out how to glue these side pieces on um, without having to lay it down because I don't want to mess anything up. So I think I'm going to take some tape and kind of tape this one on the bottom, make it like a resting point for the rest of the dowels to sit on so that the glue has time to dry. So let's try this out. Some stuff like that. This ended up not working at all. Um, the wood ended up being too heavy for the tape to support. And so eventually you'll see me just tape each piece, um, making sure that it's level, of course.
the colors Some After giving those things some time to dry, I went in with some wood filler and tried to fill in the little cracks between the dowels on the corners because um, I wanted it to look more seamless than it does at this moment. Bathing in the turquoise blue, losing track of time with you, another beach pie sunset. So pretty much all the time I use a paint wash instead of a stain. I don't love stains, um, they're a little bit hard to work with and I just love paint washes, especially the monochromatic look and so that's what I'm going for. I'm using Turtle Dove by Melange, I'm mixing it with some water, about 50% water. I'm misting my drawers and then applying the paint wash and then wiping it off. Something I could use. A cure for the air condition Could you use some too? When I'm working on large surface areas, I like to work in sections, and so I'm just missing a third of the dresser, applying the paint wash, wiping it off, and then going back and doing it again. That way I'm not worried about it drying out too fast or unevenness or anything like that. I just like to be super cautious. Side by side we sway there in all the colors. Some love. I'm using the handle portion on the top three drawers as my guide to figure out where to put my line for the dipped look. And then don't miss this, this is important. So when you're doing a dip look or you just want crisp lines, I apply um, top coat to the line to ensure that the masking tape is completely flush and tight against the surface before you start painting. Originally, I was wanting to go bold with the color on this dresser, but as time went on, I realized I need to go with Turtle Dove. I love the monochromatic look. So I started spraying it, but then I got worried that I was going to run out of paint, and so I finished by brushing the sides. This is always the best, but also the scariest moment when you're doing the dip trend, removing the tape. But thankfully, the lines are perfect. I forgot to film it, but off camera, I apply top coat to the bare wood. All right, so let's take one final look at the before. Pretty beat up, and here it is now. Bathing in the turquoise blue. Losing track of time with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe below and let me know if you have any questions about this flip. Bye guys. Sleeping.